Hi there, my name's John O'Kane. This is a 2008 Toyota Hi Ace. Um, I've converted it into the ultimate camper van. Come with me. All right, so, come. Inside, we have something that is very unique to this. This is a fold-out sofa bed. All right, so if I position myself over here, it's a nice open area to be able to enjoy your holiday around Australia. We have a table that comes out of the ground. It locks into place and you've got a sturdy table to be able to play cards, have your lunch, have your dinner, whatever. It's fantastic. You've also got plenty of storage underneath. The table is all gas strutted, which means that it's able to fold away nice and easy. If I move the, this ottoman out of the way, we also have more storage under here. Now, most people, I assume, would have clicked on this link to see how the fold-out sofa bed works, so why not just get stuck into it? I'll move this out of the way. this so many times so I know how it works. Here we go. Hold out sofa bed. Now fitting this in here was not an easy feat. It narrowly misses the two sides of the um, of this town ace, oh, hi ace by mere millimeters. But there you go. Nice comfortable bed that only takes seconds to set up. six lights that illuminate the main living space which is also dimmable to set the mood but also we have some floor lighting which unfortunately because it's sunset you won't be able to see so bright but it's nice to have a little bit of ambient light around this little drop down area here also behind us we have another work light which is just above the table illuminating just here but moving on to the control panel, which I'll get a decent look at this here. We have um, all the switches that need to control everything electrical inside this uh, van. So, ventilation system, you switch this on. Not only does it switch on the fan for the vent up here, which also opens, but also a nice little addition which I put in um, when doing this build. So here I'm able to bring in air from underneath the vehicle through a small fan which expels it out not only this vent but also this one. I've connected it up to what's called a PWM which is which means I'm able to control the airflow so at night when you're sleeping and you don't want to hear a loud noise of the fan you're able to adjust it to your desire. On top of that we've also got a nice little fan up here. Although it's a bit noisy. Over this side, we have a nice little reading light. But also, if you have a look around the side, these cubby holes beside the couch, we have plenty of USB sockets, one there, and another one over this side. On to the next thing, we have an entertainment system. This activates all of the entertainment here, oh, you're welcome, which actually speaks to you. And now I'm able to bring out the television, sit on the couch, and watch whatever I want. Okay, moving on to the next system. We've got um, a bespoke water system that I've developed. If I trigger here, this switches this on. Now, the way that this works is that I use a heat exchange unit, which, I'll switch off the TV heat exchange unit, which is connected to the coolant line of the engine. So when the engine is running, I'm able to um, transfer the heat from the engine into the water that sits out here underneath this table. Now, once it's hot, which it only takes 10 minutes to, um, to heat up the 20 liter tank that I have, um, I can now have access to hot water using this device that a friend of mine and myself developed. So hitting the green button, will supply the water. Currently it's cold at 20%. I can adjust the flow to 90 or 100. And from here, I am able to 
bring in hot water from the hot tank. Give it a second. And now we have hot water. Of course, you can find somewhere in between for when the shower is hooked up, which I will show you now. So inside this little container, oh sorry, this little cubby hole, we have the shower head, a bunch of other items, and this special device, which I've 3D printed. So here we go. I will connect this guy up to the tap, just like that. And if you want to follow me outside, watch your feet. Hook this up to the window. And now I can mount the shower. It does take a moment, so bear with me. Water and you can have a nice warm shower outside the camper van. Okay, moving on to the next thing, we have a diesel heater installed into this van too. So this little ba this uh, controller here controls the, um, the heat uh, that's coming out of this vent down here. Now, these diesel heaters are fantastic. Um, within 10 minutes, you can get it up to 30 degrees in here on the cold winter nights. So it's incredibly comfortable. Um, I'll show you what else is here on this uh, control panel. We have the um, battery battery monitoring system. This monitors how much power is going in and out of the, the batteries. There are two underneath this space here. Um, they are rated at 100 amp hours. We have a 325 watt solar panel on the roof. Now this means this setup is severely overkill, but if there were to be no sun at all, you can live off grid in this no, no problems whatsoever for three days straight. Um, what else have we got? Um, there's also a 240 volt inverter. So this here switches on the inverter, which over here, there are two plug sockets where you can plug in appliances like a blender or maybe even a hairdryer. All right, so moving more down here, this is the solar charge controller. This tells you how much power is going into the battery via the solar panels more USB sockets, and down here is a cigarette lighter socket, which um, is there, and the power switch is there. All of this little panel here was CNC'd, so made it all look nice and schmick. Over here, we have an angle fridge. I think it's a 45 liter, I'm not entirely sure. But here, this is absolutely. This also runs off the battery and will will keep all of your food goods nice and cold. Um, beside that, we have the water storage. So here is a 25 liter tank for cold water. Behind that is a 20 liter tank for grey water, and off to the side is the hot water tank. Okay, so um, let's point out a few other things that this van has to offer. We have plenty of storage space. This is where you put pots and pans. You've got another space here for cutlery and, well not cutlery, sorry, but bowls, cups and other goods in here. That's the cutlery. And this side we have miscellaneous. So, you wonder where perhaps the toilet is? Under the microwave, of course. So under here we have the toilet, where if you do need to do number one or two, you have the option to do it there. Above that, we also have a microwave. Now the microwave is the only item in the van that doesn't work under the uh, power of the batteries. This has to be connected to the shore power, which is the connection to a camper van outlet. On top we have more storage for more food, more food goods. Of course, this van is fitted out with all the safety precautions that are necessary for a van. So if you follow me, we have a smoke detector, we have a carbon monoxide detector, we have also a uh, fire extinguisher and a fire blanket. Alright, so back of the van, if I open this up, we have access to this drawer, which comes out quite simply like this. This guy lifts up, this guy pushes back, and now we have an ideal place to be able to prepare food using this stove. Very simple, we'll put that back. Beside me on the left we have another cubby hole where you can store many things like um, uh, extension cord, we've got some camping chairs and also these guys. These are very useful to leveling out the van. Ugh. Right, so 
This is a cool feature. We have this sofa, which currently is facing the wrong way. Now, I've built it in such a way so that you can simply pop these guys out like this and reverse the couch. into the slots. Get this guy here. Do the same for the other one. And now we have a lovely couch to be able to enjoy oh, the beautiful view. Thank you for watching this van tour. I hope you enjoyed the fit out that I've done here. Um, please like and subscribe, but come with me if you want to see something super cool. The last little feature of this van. Inside here, we have, you guessed it, a hammock. Clip it on there. Clip it on there. Got the perfect place. to relax. See you later.